really the end of summer, if you think of it that way. Jamie Turner is the owner of the Travel Fanatic Travel Agency located in Odessa. It's such a privilege to get to work with people in my community. Uh, I love the fact that over time I've built great relationships with clients and uh, they trust me, you know, to give them suggestions and to help them with those plans. The TSA website says they are expecting to screen more than 14 million passengers over the Labor Day holiday weekend, September 1st through September 6th, which is almost up 11% from last year. I think everyone reevaluated themselves and their priorities during COVID. And what we realized was, um, I think for a lot of people, stuff, you know, the end, end quote stuff, uh, was not quite as important as experience. She says many places, including international locations, have been a hot spot. People that have planned for that all summer long, and most of those people, you know, we have on cruise ships, or they're in Europe, or they're at Disney World, or they're somewhere like that. Even statewide, there are some holiday getaway places. We have a little bit of everything. Check out Galveston, check out Rockport, check out some of these places down on the coast if you're wanting to do that. Um, again, the Hill Country, Dallas, East Texas, you know, El Paso. We have just a little bit of everything here in our state. So I would even say here in Midland, Odessa, think about going to Lubbock for the long weekend. Think about going to Amarillo for the long weekend, uh, possibly even into New Mexico. You know, Rio Dosa, Carlsbad Caverns. Her advice for future holiday travel is to plan, preferably six months and beyond. Have not made plans for this fall. Look at your calendar. Um, so many of us are, I say, we are um, uh, confined kind of by that school calendar. So look and see when your children have fall break. Um, you know, do they have a three day weekend? Uh, you know, we're looking at do you want to travel over Thanksgiving or Christmas? Bridget Sarpong, ABC Big Two News.